Hello Battlefield Play for Free, this is Cinestix. You may also know me as Cinna, as what my fellow clanmates call me from the DOS community. I'll put the link to their website in the description. As for now, we're going to be going over the Assault class, and two attachments I find make the weapons so much better. But let's hurry up and hop over to the weapons, and towards my inventory. As you can see, I have all plus three weapons, excluding the AN-94 Abacon. I did not buy it prior to the update, because I... I really didn't like it, and even now, I still do not like it. Uh, maybe the plus three is better, I have no idea, I hadn't used it. Like I said, I did not purchase it until after the update because it, it became cheaper. Well, uh, a little bit before December 21st, you know, uh, some of you guys know what happened then, but that's not what we're going into. As for now, I know you guys do not want to put any money towards this game. Well, I make you know, a good bit to where I can put a little bit towards this, and I kind of wanted to purchase some things permanent, and I'm pretty glad I did. Uh, well, let's go ahead and show you what these things are. Uh, I'm just going to hop over to my AEK and show you uh, my barrel attachment and stock attachment. As for sights, it's whatever you want, and it, including magazine attachments. I have the high cap mags. You, mention, you can just mix and match and put whatever's for your liking into your play style. Alright, as for the barrel, I use the standoff barrel which adds a plus 4 range and it extends the medium combat distance of the gun. And as for the stock, I use the stabilized stock which adds a plus 4 accuracy, which increases accuracy by reducing horizontal recoil movement. Now you guys know how bad recoil is and this really does the trick. It reduces that vertical recoil and makes it a little bit, uh, it makes the recoil go straight up, and uh, I find, and that's a lot more easier to control. I mean, a lot better than having to move your mouse down, you know, to the left, or, it, well, if you guys, if you guys have used the AUG, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, let's just look at the overall stats of the weapon. High damage, low accuracy, uh, let's say medium range, and fast, you know, rate of fire, which you can't control any of that anyways, there's no attachments for that, uh, I should say, yet. As for the ammo, like I said, it's whatever you want it to be. Um, right now, it's, since it's the plus three, it's 24 rounds per magazine and three magazines in reserve. Plus, with me having the high capacity mags, I have plus eight rounds and plus one magazine. Now, with the stock attachment, I get plus four accuracy, and with the barrel attachment, I get plus four range. Now, I'll be uploading a video soon to show you guys the, uh, this weapon in action with uh, those set attachments. I'd like you guys to, you know, go ahead and put out some credits, not funds, you know, it's whatever you want to use, guys. I ain't telling you to buy stuff. But uh, I, I'd say give it a try. I've also bought these attachments for uh, many of my other classes as far as Recon and Medic. I find they work really well for the Medic as I've loved it on the MG36, uh, the M60, the M240 Bravo, and the M249, which I know you guys love the M249, um, though I hadn't used it without any attachments yet, so I don't know how bad you guys are. Uh, Y'all may be hating on it, I'm not sure yet. But as for my recon, I don't know why I bought the attachments. I mean, the magazine attachment made sense. You know, it's good to have an extra magazine and extra rounds in a sniper rifle, I find. But uh, I mainly got those st the standoff barrel and stabilized stock uh, mostly for my M14 and my M110 because those were my favorite semi-automatics. And uh, I also put them on my SVUA, though I still haven't tried it yet. Uh, I never cared for the weapon in the first place, much less um, what I want to try it now. But I guess I'll, I'll have to give it a shot later. Uh, as for what it does for the semi-automatics, they still have high recoil, though it reduces the vertical, so it's easier to you know, kind of move back down on the enemy, you know, if you're firing towards the torso and the recoil goes straight up, they'll help you, you know, kind of snap on and get a good headshot. Uh, I've used it on my M14, and I find it does really well, especially with hip fire accuracy. And it does that for a lot of the weapons. It increases the hip fire accuracy. You know, some, a lot of times, you know, like, especially on uh, the medic class, you, you don't have the time to aim down the sights with that heavy machine gun. It takes a while. So, you know, it's good to kind of run in and spray if you have to. Um, like, uh, for example, I've tried these attachments on my AK-47, and it still has massive recoil, and it's it's just terrible. But the hip fire on it makes up for it, especially with how much high damage it has. You know, I could run in there, you know, if I'm doling slots, I'll pull out the AK and use it as, you know, that secondary with high damage. And it, it does the trick, especially with those high-capacity mags on there. You, you go from the 24 rounds 
uh, you know, up to maybe 32, I should say, plus the 8. Alright, so I, got, I hope you guys will get out there, try out these attachments, see what they do for you. Um, I hope to get a video up soon uh, showing some gameplay. I had a gameplay using the AK, I got 37 and 7 um, on Sharky on our DOS clan servers. Um, though, I tried to voice uh, or commentate throughout the video and it did not come out too well. And I'm not too experienced with editing videos, so I can't just cut my voice out and just put it in. So, um... I guess I'll have to start from scratch, get another video up, and show you guys how good these attachments work. But, you know, I hope y'all get out there and try them out. You know, or my claymates are happy. I've let them use, uh, try out these attachments themselves, and they, they really enjoy it. It feels like they're using uh, Elite Legacy again. Uh, you know, close enough. You're never going to get exactly Elite Legacy, but, hey, it makes the game playable, I guess, especially with these new updates, uh, nerfing a few of our most hated uh, boosters, though grenades, um, yeah, we're, we're waiting on that one, though, <laughs> I can't say much about them since I have them purchased 30 days on my account, but, hey, you know, I figured it'd be my first booster I'd try, and I'm enjoying it right now, but, uh, besides all the booster talk, um, you guys, uh, tell me what y'all want to see, if y'all want to see me use a different weapon or any other classes with those attachments, because I find they work very well on all these other classes uh, just please leave a, a comment in the description and please don't hate on you know easy I don't need any easy hate comments or anything about you never want to spend money on them again I, I want some positive feedback and I just want you guys to to get a you know get used to this whole attachment thing as you know there's already a weapon attachment guide in the forums but I was hoping I could just get some actual uh, live video feed out there, you know. Well, not so much live, but you guys know what I mean. Alright, well, this was Cinestix. I hope you guys will uh, see you guys in our server and see y'all trying out those attachments. Um, I'll leave the link for DOS Clan, uh, well, well, our website, I'll leave it in the description. So, uh, see you guys on the battlefield. Much love and respect. Peace.